Yeah, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Foundry VTT from the ground up. And in our last episode, we were working on our fighter, and we're just going to finish him off. Uh, there's just a couple things that I want to talk about with it also. So we, we talked about all the different things. However, we still have these uh, little two buttons up here, basically. And the sheet, this is basically if you have other types of mods that modify the sheet, make it look different or whatever, you can actually choose what sheet you want to use for it. I don't think I have any in here right now, but uh, that's, that's one thing I wanted to point out really quick. There's the sheet. But then this prototype token actually is a pretty cool feature. It has some cool things in it. Um, what we have in here, if for example, we have the character information. We have the token name, so which is basically going to be the same as up here, unless you change it. There's the display name, um, and these are basically it will display the name when you take control of it, when you the owner hovers over it, when anyone hovers over it. Uh, I'm assuming this one means only the owner, uh, or that the that information always displayed above. Uh, we have the represented action or actor sorry the actor which is what it's saying it's linked to uh, the actor so we could actually link our fighter to something else the default is going to be when you create the actor it actually links it up automatically uh, then you can link the actor data now what this does is if we were to create multiple, um, if, if I understand it correctly, what this does is means that if you affect one of them, it actually affects all those that are linked to that one. If you do not do that, um, what it does is it actually has each one treated separately. I'm not sure why you'd want to have the actor data linked other than if it's a PC or just a very unique thing. Uh, the token disposition is, you know, is it friendly, hostile, or neutral? Uh, that's just how others would view it, you know. Um, then we have our image. So this is where you can choose your image. You can also choose the image. Well, this is more the token, actually. This is the portrait. Um, so this is going to be the image used for said token. If we came in here, I think I might have some. Uh, I don't know if these ones are the... Do I have any that are specifically? Let's use, for example, the Captain Token here. So here, it's not going to show it, but if we click on this one right here, and this is because we have the tokenizer in here, uh, which makes it kind of cool. Uh, we can actually, is this where we change, do, 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 let me find where we change our mystery man into our token avatar. Add a layer, upload from your computer, maybe that's what we need. Uh, da, da, da. Now we have to find it. Uh -huh. uh, this BCD, I think I want to go to Taz. Uh, documents, boundary, data. Da, 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 da. Oh, whoops, it's right there actually. Uh, let's do the avatar. There we go. And how do we get that over here? I'm going to have to play with this one. I did some stuff with it a while ago, but and I think I did a quick tutorial on it. I think I might need to delete that one. And then do we make that? No. Um, do we add the layer? Actually, this might be where I need to do it is over here. This is actually doing both the token and the thing. So the avatar is that one. So if we wanted the token, that's right. I'm starting to remember it. I apologize for not having this earlier. Uh, so here's our token. So it's a, a smaller or less 
less parts of it. So there we can see there's our, our guy right there. And then if we come back into token, it should still be the captain token. You can set the width and the height in grid units. Um, so one would be, if, if the square is one grid unit, then it would be that size. We can scale it uh, so that it's a little bit smaller than that or whatever. We can uh, mirror it so it's either vertically or horizontally mirrored. We can also change the tint color of it so that there's actually a tint color. Like right now, I believe there's no tint color. If we click on this, we can actually kind of put a tint over it. So maybe it has kind of a red hue or something like that. Uh, the position, this is the location on the map that it is. Generally, you don't do anything here. This is more for, uh, more for your knowledge, I guess. Uh, lock position means that it will be locked can't be moved vision this is kind of more what I was actually heading towards here is really cool and I've mentioned this before in previous videos but this will make it so that you can actually simulate dark vision or it's night um, and the the actor can see however far or it's illuminated so dim vision would be how far that dim vision is now this kind of seems weird the way this is worded but what this is saying is dim vision this guy can see 30 feet uh, is up to 30 feet is dim bright vision here is zero which means basically has no bright vision if we set this to 10 up to 10 would be the bright vision up to the uh, from 10 to 30 would be the dim vision uh, the sight angle, if you don't want them to be able to see all the way around themselves, you would set this, and this will actually change their their viewpoint. So you can make it so, you know, technically your vision doesn't go behind you. So, you know, you might have peripheral vision, maybe 270 degrees or something like that, and that's actually what you can see. The bad part about that is you literally can't see anything behind you then you can't see your party members to click them or anything else and you have to kind of change that or look at your party members in order to select them so 360 even though it's a little unrealistic uh, it's it's fine uh, then of course you have like say they're carrying a torch uh, so that would be the Sight, uh, whoops, so the emit dim, same thing. Uh, let's say from uh, with a torch, I believe it's up to 20 feet is bright light, and then from 20 to 60 is dim light. So you would set that to you know uh, 60, and this one would be 20. And then once again, you have a uh, you know a the emission of the light from the torch. Now, in this case, say you have a hooded lantern then yeah that could be very directional maybe where it's showing you you know a little arc of about 45 degrees or maybe a little less uh, then you can also change the light color which is really cool and you can make it so that it's not you know uh, if you're doing light color or whatever you can also change the opacity level which means the how visible it is um, you know uh, it's transparent uh, then we have resources here. So these are your different bars. So you can display the bars. You can say I want to display when I'm controlling it, when the owner hovers over it, when anyone hovers over it. Don't know what that means still. Or just always leave them on. Then you can also choose what bars are actually being displayed. For example, if I want always to show the hit points, I can come in here and say attributes HP and you'll see that it says 13 of 13 when he takes damage you'll see that he takes damage we're gonna we're, well, I'll show you this stuff so don't worry about that in just a minute uh, then you can also set up your second bar um, I don't usually use a second bar because I, there's n not really anything that I can think of I mean I guess you could do XP if you wanted to keep track of that but as you can see there's a boatloads of things that you can actually keep track of as far as that first and second bar you don't even have to have the first bar be HP so I usually don't do anything on that and then I go ahead and hit OK so I'm gonna show you exactly what the lighting stuff was because I think that is um, 
one of the coolest features in there. So if we put our little man out here and we click on him, you can see he has no bright vision, which is what we just established. Now if we come in here and go into token, I wonder if we can close that. If I say update token, it might work this way. All right, so now he has a 30 foot dim vision. Well, if we wanted to give him say dark vision of 60 feet, then we could, now this would be pitch black right now. You'll see now he can see, oh, it does get rid of it. Uh, he can now see um, 60 feet in every direction. Now, let's say we wanted to really, really simulate the fact that he cannot see 100, uh, 360 degrees around him. He can only see, you know, his peripheral vision maybe, I don't remember what that is, like 270 or something like that. So if we go ahead and click on him, can't move that out of the screen, but that's okay. Uh, let's say, let's give him some bright vision. We'll say up to 20 feet. And let's change his view angle. So it'll basically be what's directly in front of him and kind of spanning off of that. So if we said maybe 270, let's see what that does. Update the token. And now you can see that uh, this is considered the this is considered his front because he's looking this way and you'll see 270 is probably not quite right you can't see quite that far behind you so maybe let's go 170 let's try that and see what that gives us 170 if I move that off does it no update token that's probably a little bit more realistic for dark, uh, for uh, peripheral vision. So unfortunately, you would not be able to see any characters that are behind here. Um, this is going to end up being just about actors still. I was actually going to start doing uh, items and stuff, but this is going to be actors. That's fine. Uh, so now you can see his vision. You know, he has his peripheral vision, which is there. He has his bright vision, which is 20. And then he has his dark vision or whatever that is 60. All right, let's go ahead and do some of these other things. Now, let's say not only does he have this dark vision, but he's actually carrying a torch and he's holding it above his head, you know, kind of walking down. So a torch isn't going to be hooded. It's not going to be directional. It's going to be um, 360 degrees, right? And just to differentiate what this torch is, we're actually even going to give it a slight yellowish color, I think. Maybe kind of this orangish color, um, but a little lighter, something like that. All right, so he's carrying a torch now. I believe a torch is... I don't want it to be the same because it'll completely overlap what we have. So we're going to say it does 10 and then to 30 in dim. So 30 will be dim in the torch, 10 will be bright in the torch, and it's 360 degrees. Did I not okay the color? I don't think I did. There's our color, say okay, there we go. And we're not going to make it, uh, we're going to leave it that way. So now you can see here, close that he has this torch and you can see slightly behind him but the the uh, his main vision is stopping him however what you can see if I were to reset lighting and the torch actually shows the whole time that's a little bright of a torch by the way uh, let's see is this one clear lights uh, one of these was to reset. Is it you? Reset Fog of War. So if we click on him now, oh, we have to go back to person, and click on him, you'll see for him, the torch isn't actually shown because the, um, the vision is overriding that torch. Now, technically, this is accurate. Um, because still he can't see behind himself so he's not gonna see even though this area is lit up he's not gonna be able to see now if we had a second person on here let's try this I'm, I'm curious now we have a second person on here we're gonna have to 
select them and I don't know if they have any vision stuff set up nope uh, so let's say they let's give them uh, dark vision as well I'm gonna leave theirs at 360 just to check this so let's go ahead and say 60 is dim 30 is bright and go ahead and say OK and now if we click on him do I need to change he's neutral no he's um goblin I might have to change him friendly I'm not sure why that one's not showing up. I'll have to research that. Um, let's let's bring Umas out because I know he's a he's oh actually he's not linked to a character anymore. But here you can actually see that the torch for Umas here it's working for him so he doesn't actually see what the other guy sees but he does see the light from that torch so the torch and even if he had you know uh, the vision of uh, what am I thinking of I can't think of the words I'm thinking so uh, anyway so as you can see the the torch is working for him because he doesn't have that limited uh, vision on it now even if he did have that 170 uh, he would still be able to see this torch because it's still in front of him it's in his line of vision I think that's the words I was looking for so hopefully that makes a bit of sense this orange color is a terrible color for a torch apparently I think more of a yellow like maybe this and make it very light and maybe go ahead and do some of this transparency to about 50 that is much better so like I said he's still able to see the full range of the torch because it's within sorry it's within his line of vision where he can only see what he would actually see within his scope of vision. Call oh, that makes sense because it's really kind of confusing. So anyway, um, I did forget to mention these things and I did want to cover those because um, there are additional things for the token. Uh, some of these things, the one thing I, I was saying uh, this whole time is I do not. I've never professed to be the guru or all knowledgeable in everything Foundry VTT. I'm kind of learning this stuff along with you guys. Sometimes teaching things, you learn a lot more than, uh, than uh, if you were just to read it and read it as you're experimenting with it. So hopefully you guys do not mind that, you know, I don't know everything about this, but we'll figure things out. And the other thing I wanted to do is um, there's the old saying that if you give a man a fish they'll eat for a day if you teach a man to fish or woman I, I'm not going to be sexist there if you teach a person to fish they'll eat for their life so one thing I wanted to point out is if you can find lots and lots out there's a lot that's not quite available uh, yet because it's still fairly new but if you go to Foundry VTT, F O U N D R Y V T T, and you go to their website, which is foundryvtt.com, click on that, you can come to this knowledge base right here. And the knowledge base has lots and lots of information. For example, when we were talking about all the type of rolling of dice and things, that would be under here items can be found under here now it's not a hundred percent complete um, but like I said that's mostly because uh, it's a community project so to speak and and the community is the ones that are kinda making tutorials and stuff but some things I did want to point out is for example if we go look I, don't know, nah, I think it's under community wiki here maybe I think this was the one I'm looking for yes so if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see there's Foundry Community Macros, there's Foundry Community Tables. If we 
come back up. Was it up here? Oh, there's this wiki link at the very top up here. And there's a Foundry Community Wiki. Um, I'm not sure what the difference between that wiki and the repository wiki. Uh, but this one, for example, is black and stuff. But from what I've seen, it actually kind of has all the same stuff. What is Foundry? Update Notes, Windows, Linux. So if you look here, it's all the same stuff. Just not white. I mean, just not gray. Uh, so anyway, you can find a lot of information here. Some things that aren't here, and this is something that we're just going to have to muddle our way through, is where I was talking about uh, items. And there's lots of little things in there that, as we were going through these and creating all these options, we're like, oh, I wonder what this means, I wonder what this means. So we're going to go through these things a little more with a fine tooth comb. We're going to try and figure out more and more of what they are. Uh, maybe people that actually make Foundry, uh, the people that write modules for that, maybe if they're watching any of my videos, they'll be able to chime in and say, oh no, this is what this means, you know. So hopefully this spurs at least, uh, you know, the, uh, what's the word, spurs... I don't know. I'm having a hard time with words today. But it kind of makes people want to uh, get this information out there, update the wiki, add this information to the wiki, uh, tutorials and things of that nature. So uh, that's kind of my goal uh, here. But I did want to show you that you can come to the wiki here. Unfortunately, as I said, if we go under... <laughs> The scene control, we have actors, we have the templates, tiles, walls, pins, sounds. That's not the one I was looking for. I think it's the sidebar. The combat tracker scenes, actors, there's no items in here. So we don't have that information. But where we were looking at some of those actor things, well, there's not a lot here just yet. It's missing content. So this is stuff we can add ourselves because this is the community wiki. Not 100% sure is this one also the exact same as it take me the same thing? Exactly. I don't know for sure if there's a an official wiki or anything. Um, I'll have to keep looking for that. But anyway, guys, uh, we're out of time. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. It motivates me and gives me great desire to keep keep on making more videos and keep on keeping on <laughs> just keep on working on it um, aside from that comment like and subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my uh, discords my other YouTube channels and uh, that's it until next time I'll be seeing you later bye